Hey fellow tennis nerds, this is Nicky, you know him from the app and uh, our other projects or other videos. And then we have a nice guest here in Mario Villela, he was a very good player on ATP. What was your best ranking? Uh, 170. 170, so this guy can hit a big ball and they're gonna train today. Uh, Nicky is hungover and not on Mario's level, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm gonna suffer, but it's good. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna suffer. Yeah, we're gonna test out some rackets as well. Yes. And um, give you guys some feedback. Yeah, yeah, so uh, Mario has to shift now, the, the heavier one, the 315 gram, 1820. And you play with the H22. Yeah. Yeah, the H22 Pro Stock. And they're testing the new Pro stuff as well with, uh, with 4G and yes, 4G soft. Set up, so yes. Should be good. Should be good. Yep. So uh, let's hit some balls. Fine. Let's see these guys play. So Mario here is hitting with the shift. 315 gram, it's an 1820, and he's uh, hitting a big ball. I was very impressed by how well he connected with the ball, but obviously if you're 158 in the world quite recently, I mean, he retired this year, I think, or, or just last year, and um, he just fell out of love with the tour, as I wrote there in the introduction. I talked a bit with him and, and just the grind of traveling and not being able to actually enjoy the cities when he's traveling and so on. He seems to be quite a spiritual guy, so maybe that just the, the grind of it took the love away from him because he still loves tennis, but it's, it's a different thing when you have to compete over and over again and, and always uh, just focus on the matches and it can be quite a tough and lonely lifestyle, the ATP Tour. Uh, such as the WTA Tour, obviously. And if you are not top 50, uh, it's not super easy to make money, of course. I mean, you make some money, but it's it's not uh, that, that easy. So uh, they also tested, obviously, the pro staffs. I strung them up with 4G and 4G soft. So the, the 97 had 4G soft, 24 kilos or 53 pounds. The 100 square inch pro staff X had 24 kilos, 53 pounds on uh, regular 4G. Still, that racket felt softer, so uh, that's a bit interesting. Obviously, the larger head size makes it softer on impact. The 97 is, is more controlled and direct. And in the end, you will see what Mario felt uh, that he liked the most. But uh, giving you a little bit of a spoiler, Nikki liked the 100 a bit more, but is more of a shift fan, I would say, than the pro staffs. Sometimes you feel like the ball flies a little bit, but, really with like it. It. but it, it, the feeling is very nice. It huh? feels like a... I would say like a, the Babola, the blue one. Yeah, yeah. The but with, pure drive. With more strings. Yeah, yeah. So more control. More control, yeah. A little bit better feel. It's not as yeah. stiff, you know? Yeah. And now a quick word from our sponsor. If you're a singles player and you're unhappy with your shot selection, you should check out the new rules of singles by our friends over at Fuzzy Yellow Balls. 20 new rules inside this app. So new strategies featuring Craig O'Shaughnessy, who you might know from working with Novak Djokovic. He's a tennis analytics expert and he has come up with new strategies proven on his big data analysis to show how you will win more points. So that's what you're gonna learn inside the new rules of tennis. There's a special introductory deal that lasts until Thursday, March 30th. So pick up a copy now if you wanna save some money and make sure you win more singles matches in 2023. So as Mario said that he felt like this one is a kind of a softer pure drive. He liked the spin despite having a bit more control than he, he would uh, think from the thicker beam. The 1820 gives you good control, but sometimes, as you will hear from Nikki, the ball does fly a bit more than you expect from an 1820 pattern. But I still enjoy this one a lot. I think I'm venturing more towards the, the 1820 maybe in the end than the 1620, uh, at least when hitting with, with good players, as you heard in my recent ITF uh, tournament vlog. I, I did struggle uh, with the control of the 1620 oh. in a match scenario. Could have also been the string. Now this is uh, strung with hawk power, head hawk power at 24 kilos, 53 pounds is becoming kind of my reference tension. So I would warn you to use Luxlon 4G, no matter how good that string is, because it's very good, because it's a stiff string. And, and on the 97, which uh, Mari is hitting here, and he's hitting it like a bomb, it, um, it felt good but uh, it, it was a little bit stiff uh, he liked it and this was probably his favorite in the test because he's playing with the h22 with all the power 130 gauge so this guy can obliterate the ball you will see it soon how how clean and how how well he, he contacts the ball and uh, just being in perfect balance all the time is so impressive and uh, yeah you obviously get a bit jealous that you can not play like this that's how i felt but also i'm, I'm impressed because you you just watch there in awe and some of the winners he hit, uh, you just wow. And uh, I will publish a full set play that they they did um, on my YouTube channel later on. 
And yep, they kept on hitting. This was the warm up, and then they played uh, a few underhand points sets, like when you play to uh, 10 or 11, depending on what you like. Mario seems very solid overall, big weapons, and if you take Casper Rude to three sets in 2021 summer, then you are a very good player, I can say. I mean, that was extremely... So he had some very impressive results. He won a challenger as late as August 2021. So this was not long ago. And uh, that's why I find it uh, a bit sad in a way and a sad sign for tennis that the guys like this kind of feel like they don't want to go on. I mean, maybe he's a special case, but I, I think generally I've seen this before that it's, it's tough to keep going. And they usually cite that the, the structure of the tour is, is not to their liking and they find it difficult. As you can see here and maybe in our coaching app and some of our other videos, we've done some coaching videos on the channel. Nikki is a bit more of a flat hitter than Mario and uh, relies a lot on his timing. Has a beautiful technique on the one-hander especially. I think that's his best shot. Uh, and uh, can also generate some, some big damage on the forehand. But he, he plays more aggressively and, and needs Sometimes maybe to add a little bit more spin on his shots and he found that that the shift uh, you know helps him or forces him to do that but he gets a little bit more control obviously with brackets like the H22 or a, you know a smaller head size head which is uh, similar to a radical which he usually uses so he found it a bit hard to flatten out balls with the shift although he loved it from the sound and and how it played and uh, yeah Mario was was most in love with the, the Pro Staff 97. It reminded him of his uh, Blade Pro or, or H22 as it's called. And uh, But in the end he decided to go back to that. Uh, these kind of pros who've competed on a high level, they they struggle to play with other rackets for long. I think they want to have that, that sensation, that ball feel, that familiar uh, performance in the racket. So he started playing one uh, so-called 11, where you play underhand to 11 points with the Pro Staff 97. Uh, Felt like he lacked a little bit of the control uh, compared to his regular setup. Maybe it wasn't super familiar. And he played better with the H22. It says nothing really about the rackets per se, but you need to be used to something. This is an extraordinary point, by the way. So if you like points like that, uh, these are the highlights from their, their um, underhand play. Uh, you will enjoy the, the full set play uh, with some, some good points. And if you're keen on seeing more set play, let me know in the comments. I can definitely provide some more from different levels, not only this kind of high level, but also lower level like me or, or other players. So that is not a problem. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely see how, how big Mario hits the ball, but it's, it's a lot of it is in the, the footwork. Like the footwork is so good. And he's always in balance, in, in good position when he hits the ball. And that's how he can generate the kind of power he does. So, um, yeah, it's fun to watch. I, I really enjoyed watching this type of play up close. I think you learn a lot just by watching it. Uh, that movement, how they swing the racket and so on. You can, you can pick up some pointers that you can bring into your own game. And uh, that's that's quite, quite important and quite satisfying. So, hopefully you can pick up something from this session. Mario is here back with the H22 and uh, in the familiar territory and that's so important something I stress a lot and I wish I could could adhere to this myself but it's it's all the testing gives you so much temptation to switch rackets and and get more power get more control and you go back and forth because you're testing different types of rackets all the time with slightly different specs uh, but if you want to play on, on a high level you need obviously to have your rackets to be the same match then you have to be familiar with them you need to build up the muscle memory familiarity and sense of uh, control and confidence in your setup and so always when you you have to switch it it's going to take uh, some time before you're completely dial in so it often happens that if you switch to a new racket that you feel like maybe you have a great first week and then you start having second thoughts when you're playing less good maybe the second week or you're having some bad sessions maybe you lose a match and it's not maybe the racket but it could also be that you're not just used to the racket so you need to give that possible racket switch time before you can really uh, estimate how it's going to impact your game in the long run you know so it, it's not that quick to just change to a new racket model you, you need to get dialed in and that's what you see with the pros they always try to to try new rackets in the off season if they're curious about switching brand or or trying something different and they don't generally want to switch during the season but as you can see in some of my videos <laughs> this also happens that they switch mid-season uh, i don't know if there's contractual obligations can be can be something else i just did a slow-mo his huge forehand here and uh, 
it can be different reasons, different reasons why they, they do it, but it's always fascinating to see how that will affect them for the rest of the season when they make a racket switch. Uh, some can have uh, quite difficult times getting used to the, the new racket, but some can can just keep going. Uh, maybe you saw Iga Svjontek as a good example. She moved over to the to her own line from Technifiber and then she kept playing well. So that's how it is. Okay, so a great session of tennis between Mario and Nikki. And you tested some rackets, uh, the Pro Staffs, the 297 and the, the 100X, and you tried the Shift. So Mario, which one did you like the best of them all? Did, did you have any different opinions? Yeah, for me, the best was the Pro Staff, 97. Yeah, because I was feeling more the ball, more control, and it was good for my game, yeah. But the, the other two, I really like it also, the, the top spin. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the spin that I could give to the ball. And you, you described the shift kind of like a pure drive, but with more control, right? That yeah, was good, yeah. like how it felt. The, the pattern of the string gives you a bit more of control, yep. but it's still the same punch, the same punch yeah, and the, the same spin. You, Nikki? Um, I mean, for, from the back of the court, I really like the shift a lot. I would say it makes me play with more spin than perhaps I usually would, and that's probably good for me. Um, the only thing is when you do try and flatten out, it's very difficult to control. But when you start to really rip it, the sound of the ball is great. Feelings very, very nice. So, yeah. But then from uh, like in point serving all around, I actually really like the 100, the uh, first half X. It's a little bit more comfortable than the 97. Um, it's a little bit softer. You get a little bit more power out of the racket. So, yeah, it's great. Good stuff. Uh, so, thanks for hitting. And the uh, separate set play will come out on the channel as well. Thank you very much. And don't forget to play some tennis. Don't forget to play some tennis. Very good, very good. <laughs>